Once you've created your drawing views and edited them and got everything just the way you want it, what would happen if your model changed? Well, the good news is that the drawing views have some functionality built into them to accommodate just such a problem. So let's just see how it works. We'll go to the model tab here and we'll go ahead and select some of the solid elements that comprise the lifting tab. We'll then use the grip to move the lifting tab a little bit. And switch back over to our layout tab. Now what we immediately see is these little red glyphs that form around the border warning us that something has changed. We'll also notice that there is an alert bubble down here, which is prompting us to go ahead and update all drawing views on the layout, which you can certainly do from right here. Now you'll see that once the geometry has been updated, the views refresh, the lifting hook in fact did move, as you can see here, and now the red glyphs around the drawing view borders have disappeared. You could also perform these updated view instructions this way, which is going through the ribbon itself and using the update view pull down, you can either update a single view or you can update all views concurrently. And notice that there's help available here within the view update command itself. The reason why you might want to update views singly rather than collectively is if you have really complex geometry that would take quite a while to regenerate. It might be worth your while to say, just regenerate the isometric viewport to make sure that you got the changes that you really wanted to make in the model tab. So it's pretty straightforward to go ahead and interpret any kind of changes to the model. It's very easy to get visual cues and see what's going on here. And you can control this in a number of ways through the ribbon tabs or the alert bubbles on the drawing views down here in the system tray. And of course, what point would it be generating all these drawing views and neat geometry if you weren't able to annotate it? So projected drawing views can now be annotated with things like dimensional entities, no problem. Things like your object snaps will go ahead and latch onto geometry just as you'd expect. And you can go ahead and place all of your annotational elements, just like I'm doing here. So very straightforward to work with and no reason that these drawing views cannot become an integral part of your workflow in producing 2D documentation here in your layout tabs. Works just like regular AutoCAD.